Welcome back everybody to the Johnny Guitar Channel. Today we are playing Elder Scrolls Online. And we are here in Solitude in Skyrim in the Second Era. And our character here is named Return the Bard. And he's been working for the Bard's College, but more importantly, he has been working for the Queen with Lyris Titanborn. They've been uh, investigating the Harrowind Storms. Some sort of terrible storm, magical storms have been happening that uh, turn people into vampires. Anyways, we are investigating that. Uh, and, you know, it feels good to be back here in Skyrim. This is, this is quite enjoyable to see the world. Um, I don't have the exact math on it, but I think Skyrim takes place at least 800 years, 1,000 years after this. I think it's closer to 800. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you know the exact amount of time, but I think it's about 800 years between now and uh, Elder Scrolls V. That's one of the Queen's attendants. Let's get inside. Strong, Svana. Mother! No! No! Svana, your father, the kingdom. Watch your father. Mother! No! You can't die! Mother! Sire, the assassins might return. You must get to somewhere safe. Have Joran's lackeys come to gloat? We came here to warn you, Your Highness. And yet my wife lies dead. If you had listened to us... Like she did. If I determine Joran had a hand in this, there will be war! Someone take care of my wife! Father, please. Gods, what a disaster. The Queen's been assassinated, and Svargrim still refuses to listen to reason. We need to find a way to set things right. Good question. The guards should have been able to handle a run-of-the-mill assassin. This could be connected to the Ice Reach Coven. In fact, I'd wager my axe that it is. Look around. See if you can find any indication of how the assassin got in and out of the palace so easily. Maybe even turn up something that ties the murderer to the coven. I'll make sure the princess is all right. Please, pardon me while I grieve for our dear queen. She was a friend of mine. Svana's taking this pretty hard. I suppose most daughters feel close to their mothers. Not that I'd know, I never knew my mother. Sorry, don't mind me. Did you find anything that might lead us to the assassin? We've seen these medallions before. On the Reachmen near Kilkreath. 
And I saw them on the witches in Ice Reach. The assassin definitely seems to be in league with the coven. But can we get Svargrim to believe that and accept the danger he's in? Svargrim has every right to be angry. He watched his wife die right before his eyes. But he's the High King. He doesn't have the right to be stupid. Time to make Svargrim confront some hard truths. Come on, the sword thane led the king upstairs. We need to see the High King. I should think not. The High King is in mourning. He's not to be disturbed. The Queen's wasn't the only life lost today. Now get out of our way. I, uh... Go right in. Your Highness, please. Your kingdom is in grave danger. My Queen's blood hasn't yet cooled. And already Joran's lackeys hound me. We have proof that the coven threatening your kingdom is responsible for the Queen's death. Show him, partner. Does Joran? Think me so weak that he believes his half-giant can twist my arm and fill my head with lies? I am not so easily duped, outsider. Reach witches. They pose no threat. We've beaten back those wild dogs time and time again, fell our brothers to the east. Bow down to a poetry-writing milk drinker. I will not be lectured on such matters by the likes of you. Tales told around campfires to scare the children. Storms happen here all the time, and none of them spawn monsters. The last spy who spoke of such things. Well, he no longer speaks of such things. I am the Wolf of Solitude. I know my enemies. You dishonor my wife's name by letting it pass through your treacherous lips? Away with you! And pray I don't find evidence that ties you to the Queen's murder. That would not go so well for you. We'll leave you to your grief, Your Highness. Is it true? Mother told me you were working for her before she... I'm sorry, Svana. I would have saved her if I could. My mother. She told me she gave the mighty Lyris Titanborn an important task. Tell me, what were you doing for my mother? Threat? What threat? And do you think this is why someone came into the palace and killed her? Okay, once again, everybody, I'm going to interject, um... This story is pretty good. This, uh, I mean, may maybe the uh, main quest line for Elder Scrolls Online, um, I didn't really get into it, but this, this is a pretty decent story. I feel on edge because even if I defeat the um, Ice Reach Coven, I feel like this king is just going to kill me and execute me anyways. So, um, <clears throat> Yeah, very interesting. Very good story. Uh, the Ice Reach Coven has come to Western Skyrim. It looks like they killed the Queen. And did you tell my father all this? Is he rallying the soldiers? Alerting the other Holt? <sighs> my father sees Joran's plots everywhere, even in his spicy venison stew. Well, I won't let my mother's death be for nothing. She trusted you, and so will I. My father be damned. Please, find whoever did this and stop them. I saw the assassin. He moved fast. Unbelievably fast. He leaped through the window after stabbing my mother. By that time the guards had gathered, so I guess he decided to flee. Try to follow his trail. Someone outside must have seen something. No. My mother... The last time we spoke, I hurled a mug at her. But I came when she summoned me. Just in time to see her murdered. I... I need to pull myself together. She asked me to watch over my father. The kingdom. 
I can't let her down. He was fast, that's for certain. Here and gone before the guards could even draw their swords. Other than that, I didn't get a good look. The inside of his hood was nothing but shadows. Come on, princess. Let's get you somewhere safe. Don't call me princess. Just Svana. There's nothing noble about me. What? The guards here in Solitude are well trained to deal with any problems. You aren't a problem, are you? You're perceptive, but why should I tell you anything? No, I apologize. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. I have reason to believe that someone is out to assassinate me. I may have crushed a family heirloom under a millstone last year. I'm here in solitude now, hoping to wait out the ire of said family. In my defense, it needed to be done. That thing was cursed. Simply put, it could have erased me from existence. I don't know more than that, but that was enough. To not reach Sovngarde. I'd rather die at the hands of an assassin than to have never existed. Now, apologies, but I should get back to my day. My wife, she is like ice, so cold, so pale, all the warmth sucked out of her. There was a commotion at the palace, everyone was headed that way, except one man. No, not a man. He wore an eye patch, but his face was bestial. He dragged her along like a bone between a dog's teeth, and he tossed her aside. Pale as snow. He was fast, so fast, ran to the Hall of the Dead. He never even looked back at what he had done. Will you pray with me for these poor souls? Cut down and bound for the Hall of the Dead much too soon. It was a monster, a vampire. I have seen such creatures before, but this one wore an eye patch. It moved like a shadow and took sustenance from these poor souls. I called upon Arke's grace, and the vampire fled before his sacred presence. Toward the main gate, I pray the guard finished off the depraved creature before it took another innocent life. You again? Didn't I warn you about putting your nose where it doesn't belong? A vampire? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But whoever it was tore out Sonolia's throat and fled through the gate before I could stop him. What do you know about all this? And why is it any of your business? 
The Queen's dead? What about the High King? He'll have my head for letting the assassin slip away. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I opened the gate and let him slink off. The real problem's at the palace. No more questions. I've got to secure the gate and take care of poor Sonolia. This is Svargrim's fault. He should have heeded us from the start. Damn Svargrim and his distrust of Yorin. How many more of his people have to die before he accepts the truth and lets us help him? Forget that for now. Tell me about the assassin. Did anyone get a good look at the murderer? That would explain the assassin's swiftness and ability to escape so easily. We knew the Ice Reach Coven had vampires on their side, but using them so blatantly. Anything else to report? Well then, time to fight fire with fire. They've got evil vampires and we've got a friendly one. Let's find out exactly what your friend Fen knows about vampire clans in the area. Where did you tell me Fen was going again? Oh good, I really like this character, Fen. Uh, Fenorian said he was going to see a clever woman near Morthal. I like the idea of clever woman. We went over this in the last episode. It's what the Nords consider calling like a shaman of Nor ancient Nordic magics. Like not the not the stuff you learn at the um, College of Winterhold, right? Or in the Mages Guild. No, ancient Nordic magics. You can become a clever man or a clever woman, which is just awesome. Right. To research the ritual. Go find them and see what you can learn. I'll stay with Svana. Bring her up to speed on everything we've uncovered. We're going to need her to get the High King to trust us. And I'm calling him Fen. It's simpler. Okay, this is also really exciting because um, I love all the I love all the other people running around. Oh, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I changed Return's look because you know what? He's like hanging out with queens and princesses, and uh, he is a bard. And I did say he was charming, so I think we're gonna go with this look. That just kind of looks good. Um, he's got a rat for a companion. And a clan fear, who is uh, just my best friend. Okay, let's get going. Um, so yeah, we need to head to Morthal, which is a lot of fun, because we need to now traverse the land. Now, if I remember correctly, there's not a road that goes directly to Morthal from Solitude. I don't, I mean, this is, once again, years and years. Okay, what's that? Oh, that's not far at all. Okay. This is a big chunk of Skyrim, but I guess it's considered Western Skyrim. Um, okay, yeah, I guess Morthal is right there. How, okay. I feel like it's still a good distance, but um, that is fine. We're going to try to sneak our way over there because, as you've seen in previous episodes, Return is uh, hes not the best. He's not the best at being a bard or a warrior. And then also to catch you guys up, if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, um, before coming to Solitude, Return was a bard who would go on ships, and he would see all of the lands around uh, Tamriel, and the last ship he was on was the Dead Man's Dread, captained by the famous Red Guard, Cyrus. So that's what he's been doing lately. What is that? Something glowing in the sky over there. So one funny thing about ESO is the enemies, they kind of just stick to one little spot and they're like within view of other enemies, but they just don't. Ah, oh, okay. I guess we're, I guess we're doing that. Like that Spriggan over there doesn't even notice us. So. Mm, my clan fear is tough. Good job. 
Okay, well, I do love traversing Elder Scrolls Online. Um, because I play so much Skyrim, it is incredibly interesting to see what the developers thought Skyrim would look like hundreds and hundreds of years before Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Uh, what do I do? Wait, what? what? How, how does this work? The lockpicking mechanic is weird. What do I... Okay. Great, great. Okay, I'm sure I'll get better at lockpicking at some point. Sure of it. Oh, is this okay? I guess they're not going all the way to Morthal, which I yeah, okay, I was right. I feel like Morthal is much further. What is that red? Is that a event? Interesting. That's pretty far away, though. I don't think I'd make it in time. Um, okay, let's meet this clever woman. Welcome to the middle of nowhere, my friend. You must be freezing. Warm yourself by the fire, and tell me how your audience with the High King went. A bold move, even for them. Old Njolin and I have been comparing notes, and we've made some progress studying the Harrowstorm ritual. What happened to your large friend with the axe, by the way? We knew that vampires were working with the Coven, and old Mjolin and I can say with certainty that the feral Harrow fiends are byproducts of Harrow storms. You think the assassin was one of the vampires in league with the Coven? An eye patch? That's uncommon. And this insignia, I've seen it before. It's the same as the symbol that decorates the urns smuggled out of Bankarai. If it belongs to a vampire bloodline, I'm not familiar with it. I suggest you ask Njolin. Local wisdom dictates that only the very brave or the very foolish seek the counsel of vampires and old crones. Which are you, I wonder? Well, out with it. What can old Njolin do for you? A grim talisman. It bears an enchantment of some kind. Though the symbol upon it holds no significance that I'm aware of, I can help find the owner of this medallion. But I need some specific items to cast such a divination. Bring me the bones of a wolf and a death bell plant pulled up by its roots. I need the plant alive. The wolf, not so much. With those reagents, I can conjure a divination that will lead you directly to the last person to wear this medallion. Death Bell grows throughout the bog. You should have no trouble acquiring it. Wolves are plentiful in the wilderness around Morthol as well, but be cautious. Many seem afflicted by a strange curse. I would hate for you to run afoul of it. An icy rime clings to the wolves, sapping the heat and life from their bodies until only a frigid, shambling corpse remains. You are safe from them here, but be mindful out in the wild. Okay, got it. Icy wolves. Ice wolves. Death bell. Um, I kind of want to go see Morthal, though, right? Okay, see that? That symbol on my compass is an interesting symbol. Okay, it looks like the death bell is nearby. But yes, icy wolves, gotta watch out for them. Got it.
Sweet. Sweet. Let's do a level up, but we can't wait here because those bears will re respawn. And that's one of the annoying things in my mind about this game is that um, enemies respawn. So you got to find like a nice little place to rest. Okay, let's do a level up and see. This is the first time we've done a level up here uh, with this character. Let's do it. Um, on, on the channel, of course. Uh, probably there. Oh, chicken, cool. I'll take chicken, poultry, seasoning, got it. Yeah, go ahead and claim those rewards. Looks like in the next level, I'm gonna get an attribute point and a skill point, okay. Okay. Ooh. Um. I think I need stamina because I'm going to have to start doing dodge roll and um, because I want to be more of a bard and I want to see if I can kind of combine being a mage, like a night blade, I guess it would be. Anyways, let's do a little more. Wait. Oh, I didn't do that right. I didn't do that right. Okay. Shit. Shit. There we go, there we go. Okay, commit to that. Sure. Um, what else do I got? Okay, I guess that was it. I guess I'm not able to do anything else let's go ahead though while we have a moment because that last fight why is why is this not okay oh here we go skills one point awesome okay so i can go with dark magic daedric summoning Can I upgrade my crystal shard? Oh, I'll totally morph that. I use this all the time. Morph it. Morph it. Crystal weapon. Converts ability to cast instant stamina ability, which causes your next two light or heavy attacks. It doesn't seem like that's crystal fragments. Okay. Conjure Dark Crystals. Yeah, I think I like that one. Let's do that one. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. I've already assigned it. Right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure I've already assigned it. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. And then let's go ahead and eat a little something. Be under supplies. No, oh, no, it's going to be under slottables. Hmm. And then these are assigned, right? I've got them quick slotted, but I just... Oh wait, maybe I don't have them quick slotted. Sign that, go right there. The problem is I don't know how to access those. It's not, it's not any of those buttons. Um, it's fine. This is all fine. Well, we should probably peek our head into this place, right? I mean, it'd be foolish to not check it out. Okay. Rock troll. Okay, cool. Seen it. We can get out of here. Oh, shit. Who are you? Oh, shit. Okay. 
Okay, sweet wolf bones. Oh, and this whole house has been taken over by wolves and um, brutes. Okay, and ravengers. Got it, got it. Don't need to mess with you guys. Though it seems important, right? I mean, whose house is that? Where is Morthal? Let's check them out. Hallmark's Great Lift. Oh, that must be a lift into um, the Underdark. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Just if I'm looking. In the distance, I can see the Morthal Way Shrine. Let's go ahead and go... Oh, okay, I see Morthal. Okay, let's go discover Morthal, everybody. Okay, run. Why are there wolves so close to the city? Why are there wolves so close to Morthal? Okay, if I'm looking around, this looks a lot like Morthal is supposed to look. Stable, stable map. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we got away. Oh, who are you? If you've worked behind a desk, shuffling scrolls, writing endless letters, you know how much it can quash your spirit. Gods, what a depressing business. Glad I could leave that behind. The crisp air and crunching snow restores my spirit. Okay, Katnair, you are cool. Okay, so Morthal looks very similar. Wolves of ice and bone attacked Rune, my lady. And yep, he saw yep, ghosts. Yep. Let me guess, you ghosts. guys are being attacked Nonsense. by like... Get him to the inn and I'll do what I can. Okay. Whispering on, Axe Tavern. Most of the taverns have completely different names. I mean, it makes sense in 800 years the name might change, but still interesting. This house was burned down in Skyrim, so the, the game Skyrim. Cool. Morthal looks pretty cool. Isn't that the Yar is that the Jarl's longhouse? Okay. Okay, great. I need to go just get a... Where is your way shrine, everybody? There it is. Okay. Got it. Just in case I need to fast travel. So I like my clan fair. So the Skeever I've named Scritch because he reminds me of Scritch from Skyrim. The clan fear, um, I've kind of just been naming him clan fear in my head, but he's pretty cool. I know he's summoned, but he doesn't seem to die. He, uh, he's helped me out in quite a few jams and he's still alive. So in my mind, he's a pretty good ally, pretty good, pretty good friend to have. Welcome back. Warm yourself by the fire, and tell me about the reagents I requested. Good, good. Divinations can be fickle. The longer we delay, 
the colder the trail grows. Let's see if we can catch the scent of your prey. Mother Wolf, hear me. We seek your blessing in our hunt. Lead us to our elusive quarry. Mother Wolf smiles upon you. She has seen fit to join your pack and aid you in your hunt. Mother Wolf has the scent and will lead you to your quarry. I have enchanted the medallion with a divination spell inextricably linked to its owner. Hold it to your nose and breathe deeply. It will guide you along his trail. Mother Wolf will guide you along the way. But you must still complete the hunt and find him. If the assassin eludes you, use the medallion to recover his trail. The wolf is relentless in her pursuit. The question is, will you be like the wolf? Okay, everybody, I think that's enough for today. I think in the next episode we're going to be going on this hunt. Um, I'm excited about it, and like I said, this uh, this quest is getting pretty good, so thank you for watching the Johnny Guitar channel. Join me next time we play Elder Scrolls on Online, Return the Bard.